Hey guys, it's Sunday, and um, today I am making a video of me making something to eat. It's not quite baking, it's not cooking, but I'm making a dip. I'm making guacamole. Dun dun dun! There's me as a little chitlin. Oh, and look, I won. I don't know if it's clear. See the three fives, and that means I won five bucks. Uh, okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is get some avocados. Two, three, depending on how many people you're making it for. For me, in my case, I'm making it for like two or three. I don't know. I eat a lot of guacamole when I make it. Uh, and you wanna make sure they're ripe. So if you like squeeze them a little bit, then like they should. Not be hard. Now we're gonna go to my fridge. Some tomato. Some lemon juice. As you can see. Compliments lemon juice. Some mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is optional. Some salt and pepper. And that's about it. So this is all you'll need. Some lemon, mayonnaise, salt and pepper, avocado, and some tomato. This is one that is half used, but anywho, yeah. So let's get started. Also, you're gonna want to get a bowl, a spoon, a knife, and you're gonna want to take your avocado and cut it in half. So if you can see, you're gonna want to cut it like that. But there's a pit in the middle, so you have to go around it. And then it opens like that. And normally you wouldn't do what I do to get the pit out because it's kind of dangerous, but you're going to want to do that. Eh. And hopefully it comes out. So you twist a little bit and then it comes out. And then discard. You're going to want to do the same to the other one. And get the pit out. Now you want to take your avocado and your spoon and Scoop it out. And then put it in a bowl like that. So once you've got all of your avocado in here, you're going to want to get rid of the skin and compost it. Then you're going to want to take your knife and like basically just mash it up. So anyways, I will show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so that's what it should look like when you're finished. Mashing it up. Uh, you can mash it up more or less depending on how sort of gooey or mushy you want it to be. I kind of, I mean it's kind of mushy. It's relatively mushy. Anyways, our next step is you're going to want to take your tomato. Get rid of your guacamole. I mean your avocado. Get your tomato out. And cut it up into a bunch of small little bits. I usually don't include all of that gross yucky stuff because I think it just makes it watery and I, nobody likes the seeds of a tomato anyway. So cut it up into small pieces however you please. Alright and after you've cut your tomato then you're going to want to put the tomato in there. Once that is done you want to mix it together. And then that is what so, it should look like. next step is fix the mayonnaise, plop it in. You can put some more if you want. Pretty much however you want, however much you want. And then, of course, mix that guys. Next step is to get your trusty lemon juice. Focus. Lemon juice. And open it. And basically just put however much you want in there. I put, like, a lot because I love lemon. And then, of course, you mix that too. Blah, blah, blah. You want to mix it more than I just did. And then, I don't know, you can put a little bit of salt in there. I don't really put a lot of salt. But I like pepper, so. You can put some pepper in there. And once you mix that, guacamole is complete. So, yeah. Anyways, um, I know I said that I was going to have some kind of repercussion for the people who didn't do the challenges that I proposed. Um, but I don't really care. You know, 
We're not really doing challenges anyway, because I feel like nobody really watches the channel. But, um, yeah, so today was cooking with stuff. <laughs> I hope you really enjoyed it. And, um, yeah. Have an awesome week, guys. Bye.